properties of water 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 is an essential component for any living being to survive on the planet earth around 70% of our earth is covered by water 97% of this water is found in oceans and seas fresh water makes up under 3% of all water on earth and nearly 65% of this drinkable water is tied up in glaciers rivers streams lakes and dams that hold fresh water contain 1% of potable water while groundwater accounts for 0.3% only most of this water on earth is found in oceans and seas and is called salt water some water is also present in frozen glaciers which is fresh water water melts from here to form lakes rivers ponds and streams water is present everywhere on earth water is present everywhere on earth in different forms even under the ground and in the atmosphere of the earth let's learn about different properties of water water in its pure form does not have any color it is a transparent liquid and any impurities present in water accounts for its color pure water is odorless water does not have any smell water in a solid state has a definite shape like other solids liquid water has no fixed shape it takes up the shape of the container in which it is kept the gaseous state of water has no fixed shape it floats freely just like other gases in its liquid state water might not have a fixed shape but yes it has a fixed volume like other liquids it means even if we change the containers of the liquid water still the volume of the water would remain the same water in a liquid state can flow from one place to another due to its fluidity it is easily transported to various areas within the cities via pipes solid water or ice acts as an excellent heat insulator the eskimos use this property to build their houses which are called igloos these igloos are made up of snow and ice water is called a universal solvent because water can dissolve much more substances than any other liquid found in nature but water cannot dissolve every substance in it objects lighter than water float upon it objects which are heavier than water sink in it conversion of water in different states the conversion of water from liquid to solid state that is ice at 0 degree celsius is called solidification or freezing of water the conversion of water from a solid state ice to liquid form above 0 degree celsius is called melting of water evaporation the conversion of water from liquid to gaseous state that is water vapor at 100 degree celsius is called evaporation of water an important fact evaporation of water has a cooling effect this is the reason why people sprinkle water on hot terraces in summer also our body cools down after we sweat in summer due to the cooling effect of water caused by evaporation condensation the conversion of the gaseous state of water that is water vapor into liquid water is called condensation 
The water cycle shows the continuous movement of water within the earth and atmosphere. It is a complex system that includes many different processes. By evaporation, the liquid water present in the rivers, oceans, seas and other water bodies evaporates into water vapor and forms clouds in the atmosphere. By the process of condensation, these clouds again form small droplets of water and by the process of precipitation, these water droplets fall back onto earth in form of rain and snow and fill the water bodies again with water and this cycle goes on and on and on. Precipitation All forms of water that fall from the sky, for example snow, rain, hail and sleet are called precipitation. Boiling point of water. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Freezing point of water. Water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Pollution. Any type of impurities that contaminates water and makes it unfit for use is called water pollution. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys had a wonderful time watching this video and always stay tuned for more such videos only on Milk Tea TV. Please like this video and also subscribe to this channel for future updates. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.